Well, some Mid-South wedding plans are underwater tonight, and Noah, Noah is to blame. Noah's event center suddenly shut down, taking everyone's money and leaving brides-to-be and others scrambling. The venue in Southeast Memphis is one of 42 locations across the country that suddenly shut down with no warning for those who'd already spent thousands on their big day. One Memphis wedding planner says she doesn't want a venue closure to ruin someone else's wedding. Local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy reports from outside the closed venue in Southeast Memphis. The bride I spoke with says she's already given Noah's event venue $7,000 and sent out invitations with the Southeast Memphis address. She says she was speechless when she never heard from the company and it even asked her for another payment the day it went bankrupt. Now she hopes she can save her big day. The perfect dress, invitations, and venue. It's the day many brides had dreamed about since they were little girls. For many Mid-South brides like Anastasia Crenshaw, that dream is now a nightmare. My heart hit the floor. A handwritten note on the front door of the venue was all she has received after Noah's shut down. Now she's out $7,000 and her dream wedding might not happen. Now I'm scrambling to call everybody and just pretty much tell them that the wedding's off. Crenshaw is one of the many brides blindsided by the news. She sent out invitations to more than 100 people with Noah's address and planned the decor around the venue. Everybody has questions and everybody sending their well wishes, but it pretty much broke my heart. However, wedding planner Ashley Wallace wants to advocate for Crenshaw and other brides to give them the wedding they deserve. You've planned, you've saved, you've said yes to the dress, you've sent out invitations. She's offering her planning expertise for free and trying to find venues who will give these brides space for free or for deep discounts. She doesn't want a closed venue in the way of a dream wedding. I know exactly what it's like to plan for a wedding and it's taken away from you. I don't want these brides to have to wait five years. Both Crenshaw and Wallace say the chance of getting any money back is slim. I have reached out to the company, but have not gotten a response yet. In Southeast Memphis, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.